This is Game Mass Jeopardy! Introducing today's contestants. He couldn't pick a Sega Saturn controller out of a lineup to save his life, it's Jeff Grubb! Our first special guest for the evening, he is the world's most winning Game Mass Jeopardy guest contestant, it's your returning champion, Imran Khan! And our second special guest for the evening, he is the new face of video games. It's Blessing at Hyoye Junya. And I am your host, Sean Turbo, Sean McDowell, and we have a stellar show lined up for everyone tonight. Contestants, how are you all doing? Good. Yeah. Excited. Hyped up. Ready. I'm very tired, but the energy of Mike Minotti not being here is just invigorating. I am ready to go. We're free. We are we are exempt from watching the him try to tonight. be a, a non sore winner and watch him struggle and fail at that most often. Yes, this is this he is was wonderful. being such a dick bag. We were watching the premiere of last month's episode earlier today. <laughs> Just doing the Luigi cross shop at the end here. That was yeah. Just it was, I line, think it was unnecessary. Man. Unnecessary. Is Mike not here because he knew yeah. I would be back, and thus yes. he had to like run? Yeah, he's yes. scared. Yes, okay. run scared. You know, yep. tail between his legs. Always just he, the only place he feels. Safe. I was like, we should bring back Emron, and he's like, we should wait till the week I'm out, and I'm not even joking. Like, that's literally <laughs> what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, speaking of Imran, it is a pleasure to have you back. Uh, returning you. champion, the only guest winner so far. Wow. Uh, how are you feeling? Are you adding to the count tonight? Are you going to turn that guest spot into a spot of Imran with two? Uh, I'm going to do my best. And if, as always, if I don't win, it's because I didn't actually mean to. <laughs> that makes yeah. some sense. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. rolling with it. <laughs> On the other side of things, yes, since we have a mic here, we have an additional guest, Blessing Eddie O.A. Jr. from Kind of Funny. It is a pleasure to have you on, sir. From, uh, yeah. from one, from one uh, trivia show host to another, I'm very <laughs> excited to see how this goes tonight. Uh, how are you feeling uh, taking on these two guys tonight? I'm feeling good. You know, I'm very excited that I get to be the, the second guest winner on, on <laughs> Game Mess Jeopardy. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I feel very honored. And yeah, like I, I usually don't get to sit on this side of the trivia game, um, you know. Yeah, you're pantomime. usually almost always hosting right. them, right? Yeah, I'm usually hosting because oftentimes they don't let me be on them because mm -hmm. it's just too unfair. Uh, yeah, so it's course, great to actually course, course, you know, be allowed to be on this side of the desk and actually answer the questions correctly as opposed to uh, being the host. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Well, we are going to get rolling into this game. Since Imran is technically the returning champion, uh, the rules of Game Mess Jeopardy dictate that he cannot pick first in the first round. Mm -hmm. Instead, I'm going to flip a coin to decide who picks first between Jeff and Blessing. Blessing, as the, uh, as the uh, newest guest, shall we say, could you please pick heads or tails for me? I'm going to go heads. You're going to go heads. I'm flipping the coin, and it is tails, so Jeff... Man, tails never fails tails? me, I can, specifically. I use a different coin every time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jeff will be picking first from these six categories. We have our mainstays in Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. Following that up, we have category all about licensed games. Then we have Who Said It? This is going to be an audio category returning from the past. I'm going to play a short audio clip of someone speaking. You need to tell me who it is who said that. Which character? And then last... Oh, this is a new one. I'm excited about this. Box art blank out. I'm going to show you some box art. But the title, the logo for the game, is blanked out. But hey, it's just box art. Should be easy enough. Oh, boy. Right? All right. <laughs> so, Jeff, where would you like to go first? Uh, let's, let's just get right into who said it for 100. All right, contestants, please listen up. Who said it? Jeff, who is Toad? Incorrect. I didn't, didn't go with my heart. Imran, who is Daisy? Damn it! Yeah, how could Fuck. you not recognize I, that I, screen? I, like, yeah, I, I'm just like it was just enough off in my ear. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Imran, where to? Uh, let's go with Nintendo for a hundred. Okay. The U.S. box art for Kirby's Dream Land portrays the normally pink puffball as this color due to confusion during the localization process. That's going to Imran. Uh, white. Or what is white? 
<laughs> what is white? Yes. Nailed it. Or two. Uh, let's do box art blank out for 100. All right. Let's see. Name oh, that game. Ooh. Imran. What is Crazy Taxi? Yeah. It is wow. Crazy Taxi. Very distinctive yellow there. Next. Mm, PlayStation for 100. This PS5 launch title features small robots dressed as a variety of PlayStation-related characters and apparently makes for a fun speed run. Oof. Jeff. What is Astro's Playroom? Very nice. You are very familiar with that. Very. Um, it hurt me in m- many ways. <laughs> uh, let's go with PlayStation for 200. Many beloved PlayStation franchises, including Ape Escape, Gravity Rush, and Knack, were created over the years by this developer before they were unfortunately dissolved in 2021. Jeff. What is Japan Studios? Man, I am not Correct. fast on the draw whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll get used to this. This is like, this always happens. You really got to quick like that before game. the question's over. Yeah. Yes, you got to yep. start just spamming as soon as it's spamming over. Spamming it. Yeah. 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 Um, let's PlayStation 300. Gabe Logan and his taser that can ignite enemies into flames are the stars of this PS1 stealth game. Imran. What is Siphon Filter? Mm. Correct. Uh, Box Art Blank Out for 200. Name that game. Imran. What is Metal Gear Solid? Incorrect. Oh, hmm. Jeff. Mm. What is. Metal Gear VR missions. What is Metal Gear um, Solid VR missions? Okay, there you go. There you go. Got it over the line. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Decided that was not enough. Uh, Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll take that. Uh. All right. Uh. Let's do box art blank out for three hundred. All right. Name that game. Jeff. Are you sure? No, blessing. Wow, I oh. changed it the last second. Uh, what is Silent Hill 2? Incorrect. Now it's Jeff. What is Resident Evil 4? It is the oh. PAL box art for Resident Evil 4. Good box yeah, art. I haven't seen this one. Yeah, yeah it's good really good. Art. Very yeah. striking. Um, yeah, we, we just did a ranking of, of, uh, of GameCube uh, box art, and I saw it for that because they also did that for Jeff. <laughs> it's slightly different. It's, I, I thought I would uh, throw you for a loop a little Recognizable bit. enough, though. Uh, look, box art yes. blank out for 400. Alrighty, name that game. Mm. <laughs> Jeff. What is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening? Guys, gals, and non binary pals, Jeff finally gets Link's Awakening <laughs> <laughs> on Game as Jeopardy. It's my favorite game of all time. And I, he puts a question in about it every month, and I've never gotten it, or <laughs> I, I didn't buzz in in time. Yep. <sighs> I'm very, very happy. Me for too. You. This is a redemption arc. Uh, box art blank out for 500. Name that game. Jesus Christ. Imran? I realize I, I did not get it wrong. Or I did not get it right. Mm. What is Fusion Frenzy? Incorrect. And if uh, neither Jeff nor Bless want to buzz in, I, I'm, I'm going to be mad I know the myself, franchise, but, but I, yeah. I don't think I know the game. Mm. Well, it's whacked. No, oh, maybe I don't know this the was, franchise. <laughs> this came up somewhere else, and I'm like, this has got to be that other one, that other weird game show party game. Just a weird ass one. Yeah. Because yeah. oh. like I saw them, like, oh, that's Cameo. Wait, Cameo was not on Xbox. That's that's <laughs> not right. <laughs> I went to Jamin Earl. I was like, certainly, <laughs> certainly, is those two guys? Uh, is, it, uh, is it mine? Okay, yeah. Let's see. Let's do uh, PlayStation for four hundred. In 2016, builds leaked of a canceled PSP version of this beloved Western RPG. And that one is going, going, gone. Oblivion. Is no way. Really? Wow. That's wild. Which apparently wasn't, it wasn't going to be a direct port. It was going to have differences in story Whoa. and stuff too. Is this, uh, was this on like a Did You Know Gaming or something? I have my sources. Okay. Well, I, want to go back <laughs> I think I remember it. seeing that. I just don't remember anything of, like. No, that's not yeah. where I got. That's not okay. Where I got. All right, fair enough. Uh, it's being reported right now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That'd be incredible. Breaking news: Journalist Turbo Sean. <laughs> yeah, uh, during a game of Jeopardy, PlayStation. Yeah, I'm bumping you down number four, bitch. Uh, 
This PlayStation Vita spin-off entry in the Resistance series sees players stepping into the shoes of New York fireman Tom Riley in 1951. Bless. Uh, what is Resistance Retribution? Incorrect. Oh, no. What could... No idea. The other two guys don't want to buzz in. That was the PSP one. Burning skies oh, is on the Vita. It burns. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had that for sure. Uh, let's do Xbox for 100. As initially reported by Jeff Grubb, this famous Japanese game designer is currently working with Microsoft on exclusive new game. Oh. Blessing. <laughs> Who is Hideo Kojima? How is it not? <laughs> yes. Finally. <laughs> I buzzed in last. <laughs> You did. I hate that. I hate that. I hate oh. when you do that. It just makes me look so stupid. <laughs> uh, blessing, where to? Uh, let's do Xbox for 200. When Near Automata was ported to the Xbox platform in 2018, it arrived with the subtitle of Blank Edition. Imran. Uh, what is Game of Yorha Edition? Incorrect. Oh. Blessing. What is Yorha Edition? <laughs> incorrect <laughs> and if Jeff doesn't want buzzing because he doesn't know crap about this game I've beaten this mm. game once but mm. yeah. so that game of the Yorha edition is oh, specifically the Switch version you're right. this is Become, Become as, as God, God. I knew. Wait, oh, Switch man. was the end of Yorha Become as God, okay, no I confused myself there. Oh, game, yeah, game of the Yorha was game of the year and then end of Yorha was Switch, you're right, yes. you're right. but yes, Become as God specifically was I, Xbox I legitimately very, very yeah, was in the exact same place as everyone, I was like, I thought it was game of the Yorha edition uh, J- uh, is, is it me or is it Imran? I think or it's or blessing. Or bless. is, it? is it Imran? Blessing's the last one. I think one right. I think sure. it's blessing. Yes. Yeah. Blessing. Yeah. Uh, We're gonna say blessing. Sure. Let's go licensed games for one hundred. Okay. This cult classic sees players cruising around the fictional city of Springfield, Grand Theft Auto style. Yeah. Blessing. What is Simpsons Hit and Run? It is mm. Simpsons Hit and Run. Nice. Uh, let's two? do licensed games for two hundred. This cult classic 2005 game is a companion piece of the 1979 film of the same name. Such a setup was a bit of a swerve from developer Rockstar's usual fare. Mm. Damn it. Blessing. What is The Warriors? Is The Warriors. Very nice. Uh, Let's do licensed games for 300. This award-winning HBO drama received a PS2 game that, despite the involvement of him in the show's actors, showrunner David Chase maintains has nothing to do with the show. Imran. Damn it. Uh, what is The Sopranos? Yes, and look at that lovely box art mm-hmm. there. <laughs> Why didn't you do a, um, City. Do a box art blank out for that one? <laughs> I really should have. <laughs> that would have been good. All right, Imran, where to? Uh, let's do Nintendo for 200. Okay. As of 2022, it's the last Call of Duty game to be released on Nintendo system. I have a Imran? guess, but... Uh, what is Call of Duty Black Ops 2? Incorrect. Mm. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that I have, one is... I have an estimate, but... Yeah, me gone. too. All right, Jeff, let's hear it. I, I, would say, I was going to say just Black Ops 1. That's what I was going to no. say, No. Okay. Oh, you were going to say that, too? They went one further in Black Ops 2. Ghosts. Really? Whoa, really? I did not realize yep. Ghosts was on... That would have yeah. been Wii U, huh? In 2013. I don't even remember that existing. Yeah. I remember Black yeah, Ops 2 either. being, like, kind of a big deal. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember whose turn it is. That should be Imran. Uh, let's do who said it for 200. Nice. Anybody? I'll try. Imran? Uh, who is Marcus Phoenix? It is Marcus uh, Phoenix. Wow. Yeah. I believe that's uh, what, if you nail the perfect reload? Probably. I in my I head was like sixty nine. That, that was like very bender. So I was like, oh, let's make a guess. Uh, <laughs> let's do Xbox for three hundred. The prophets of truth, regret, and mercy were leaders of this fictional faction in a famous Xbox franchise. And that one is gone. The Covenant. Oh wow! Uh, those are guys you take out. As Master Chief. Imran. Uh, Nintendo for 300. 
Described by Maximilian Dude as actually kind of dope, dude. This Wii exclusive fighting game pits famous vampire hunters against each other. Imran. What is Castlevania Judgment? It sure right. is. And you got some right, points yeah, on the board to play yeah, with. Very man, nice. Wow. Um, Next up. Nintendo for 400. This Wii launch game was notable for letting players load MP3s on SD card as a custom soundtrack. And it's locked. Excitra. Uh, I, was, right. I was thinking oh, that was wow. like, I don't want to risk the few points I have on my board right now. I can't, <laughs> I can't just guess Excitra. It's I was going to say Red yep. Steel, so I'm glad I didn't say shit. <laughs> uh, Nintendo for 500. He's the traitor responsible for the downfall of the first Star Fox team who went on to join forces with Star Wolf. Imran. Who is Pigma Dengar? Yeah, wow, full name. Wow. I appreciate that. Very nice. Very nice. Where to? Uh, let's do who said it for 300. All right, listen up. Wonderful. Imran. Who is Professor Oak? Yep, and the game is... Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, okay. where does uh, Professor Oak talk? I don't remember talking. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so like when my girlfriend was reviewing the new Pokemon Snap game, I just kept saying wonderful over to her over like repeatedly. <laughs> and she uh, had to ask me to leave the room at one point. <laughs> so that one <laughs> burned in my mind. Uh, That's so let's, funny. Let's do Xbox for 400. The Xbox 360 CPU utilized the Xenon chip based on this architecture. Jeff. Was Power PC? It is Power mm. PC. All right. Uh, Xbox for five hundred. Burger King collaborated with Xbox in two thousand six to make three games for the platform that were sold for four dollars a piece in stores: Sneak King, Pocket Bike Racer, and this title. Those are the two I know. Yep. Yeah. I, I know. There's. I knew there was a third one, and I never remember it. And nobody remembers. Big bumping. Oh, man. Wow. Yep. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah, big bumping. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> Fun fact uh, if you look closely at that box art, you'd assume it's an Xbox 360 game, but it is actually an Xbox 360 and original Xbox game all on the same disc. It's Whoa. no uh, backwards mm. compatibility shenanigans there. It's mm. very interesting. Okay, that would be Jeff. Uh, licensed games for 400. This Xbox 360 launch title was made to promote a movie that released just over three weeks after the game. Mm. Jeff. What is King Kong? Can you be more specific? What is Peter Jackson's King Kong? Peter Jackson's King <laughs> Kong, the official game of the movie, <laughs> oh, wow. is Thank correct. Thank you for putting the rest of that horse shit in the parentheses. <laughs> wow. Though. I do what I can for you. Uh, licensed games for 500. That's a day of the double. <laughs> Jeff, you can wager up to 1,900. You're in the lead, though. Don't need to get too risky. Uh, let's, let's go 800. 800 is on the line. Prior to the creation of proto the prototype series, Radical Entertainment made their mark on open-world action games with this 2005 superhero <sighs> title. I didn't think I was going to be a poll at Hulk Ultimate Destruction. What is Hulk Ultimate Destruction? That is correct. Ooh, wow. Nice. Great work. Man. I'm like, radical right, prototype, Jeff, right, and then I'm like, oh wait, they did Hulk. Um, who said yeah. it for 400, please? Alright, listen up. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Imran? Who is Richter Belmont? Yes. Yeah, that, that's a uh, man. Is Everyone knows the X? line, but uh, no. <laughs> Symphony of Night. It's Symphony of Night? Okay. Yeah, from that opening. Man. Yeah. And the last clue is going to be this one. Oh, that... Plus, who is Link? Incorrect. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you guessed that for me because that was going to be my guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And that one's getting locked. Don't tell me. Joe, man, that's okay. Klonoa. Okay. Uh, yeah. I knew it was thousand. that era. Nobody shows respect to Klonoa. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good thousand point answer, Klonoa, mm -hmm. usually. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, we have a uh, bit of a spread here. For the first round, the I don't Jeffrey know if we, did, we explained a blessing. There's two rounds, so it's not over yet. Yep. 
you will have a double jeopardy round where everything is worth twice as much. And going into that round, we have Jeff at 2,700 points, Imran at 1,500. Blessing is in the hole at negative 1,100, but yeah. the points to be made up in the double jeopardy round. Blessing, I am usually in the negative when we start double jeopardy, so don't worry. Now I'm in the full of it. Now I know that I got to mash the button. Yes. Yeah. Try to get in there. Mm hmm. All right, and here we are in the Double Jeopardy round. Since Blessing is in third place, he will pick first from these six categories. We have UIC, Ooh. a masterpiece of my own design, returning this month, where I'm going to show you a screenshot of a game, but everything except for the UI is blanked out. You need to tell me just off the UI, that context clue, what game it is. Then we're going to have, of course, my favorite category. Name that tune. I'm going to play a 15-ish second clip of a song from a game. You need to tell me what game is that song from. Then we're going to have questions about voice acting. Legends of the Dual Screens, which is questions all about the Nintendo DS and the software on it. Some questions about guest characters and some odds and ends that didn't quite fit anywhere else. So, Blessing, where would you like to go first? Let's do Name That Tune for 200. All right, listen closely. We're now a uh, blessing's thumb on this one. Uh, <laughs> bless. Uh, Pokemon Puzzle League. What is, is Pokemon, Pokemon Puzzle League? Pokemon Puzzle League. Mm. Okay, thank you uh let's do name that tune for 400 Imran uh what is bayonetta 2 I had full faith that you would get mm. that one. It's a little very tricky because, nice. like, that's also in three very briefly. Is it? I actually didn't remember that. The, there's a part of three where it's very relevant. <laughs> oh, right, 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 yes. right, right. Okay, fair enough. I, I, guess, I guess I'll use my, uh, my, my out here that I did say which game is it from. True, yes. Meaning originally, so. <laughs> it is, it Anyways. Is, we need to harken back to that. Uh, let's do <laughs> Legend of the Dual Screen for 200. All righty. Nintendo was dragged kicking and screaming into the online era thanks to this game, the first to support their Nintendo Wi-Fi connection service. Really? I mean, I have a guess. Yeah, I have a I... guess. I don't want to risk it, though. <laughs> All right, I'm locking that one. I, I, th I thought this was an easier one. It is. Uh, yeah. Of course that it was is. my guess. Yeah. But it was like, really? That was the first one? They didn't like just mess around before that? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, that was going to be my guess for sure. Uh, Imran. Uh, Legend of the Dual Screen for 400. Truly the first web browser for gamers, the Nintendo DS browser was a scaled back port of this software. You know, what I'm learning is I don't know enough about the DS to keep going yeah. to this <laughs> category. <laughs> yeah, this I'm locking that one. Guessing. It's going to be Netscape, Jeff, you could Netscape Navigator or something. It's probably going to be like Internet Explorer, actually, something really Jeff. dumb. Jeff, the web browser for gamers. It's Opera. Oh, of mm. course. Of course. It's on your taskbar, you dumb fool. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I use the Opera GX gamer browser, so this is another inside joke that's made here to make me look stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Imran. Let's do guest characters for 200. Persona 4 Dancing All Night include DLC songs featuring additional characters from the Persona series as well as this real life idol. Imran. Who is Hatsune Miku? Hatsune Miku is uh, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do guest characters for 400. This superhero is featured as an unlockable skater in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Mm. Oh. oh, damn it. Oh, Imran. Uh, who is Spider-Man? It is Spider-Man. Yeah. Very nice. Guest character for 600. Soul Calibur 6 saw this futuristic fighter join the fray as a DLC character. Imran. Who is 2B? It is 2B. Mm. Uh, nice. UIC for 200? Okay. Gentlemen, tell me, what game is this? Jeff? 
Let me just double check. Oh, okay. What is Super Mario Galaxy? It is Super nice. Mario Galaxy. Very nice. Uh, it's the UIC for 400. Name that game. Damn it. Blessing. What is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim? It is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Very nice. It should be really important uh, to people to play it. Let's do UIC <laughs> for 600. Name that game. Blessing. What is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart? Yeah, I thought it was fair to go with the newest mm. one. Oh, thank <laughs> and God. Blessing is out of the hole, yeah. everybody. I, like, Very I knew the, nice. I knew the franchise 1000%. It was just which game was it. And I was like, it's this UI one, looks yep. modern. Uh, let's do <laughs> UIC for 800. Name that game. Jeff. Uh, what is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yes. That Very bottom nice. left was the giveaway. Yeah. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, I recognize it, and I literally didn't know it until after I buzzed in and looked at it, the guy on the left. For sure. Uh, let's do a UIC for 1000. Name that game. Imran. What is Mega Man Zero? Hey, wow. very nice. Nice. Good one. Or two. Uh, voice acting for 200. This voice actor has over 200 video game roles accredited to his name, including multiple appearances as Deadpool and Iron Man. Imran. Who is Nolan North? Nolan North is correct. Uh, nice. Voice acting for 400. In the opening to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the player meets Uriel Septim VII, a ruler voiced by this extraordinary actor. Imran. Who is Patrick Stewart? That is correct. It's going to be the only one in this I know, so ugh, frustrating. <laughs> uh, Legends of Dual Screens for 600. Even after being acquired by Microsoft, Rare notably developed two Nintendo DS games, Viva Piñata Pocket Paradise and this game. Imran. What is Diddy Kong Racing? Go on. Diddy Kong Racing DS? Yes, the DS okay. is important. <laughs> when, I, when I tell you, I started buzzing in like crazy because I thought the answer was going to be Donkey Kong Racing because I remember <laughs> oh, no. that, that that was like in development but got canceled. Yeah, the, the GameCube game is what yeah. that one was. Yeah. Uh, Imran, where to? Uh, guest characters rate 100. Immortalized as an internet meme for its box art shout out of featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series, this title features the hack and slash hero teaming up with the Demi Fiend as they navigate a ruined Tokyo. I can't, why can't I remember this? I was like, y'all know the meme, but yeah. <laughs> Imran? I had to remember the subtitle Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Yes, I was just, it was uh, Nocturne okay. or Lucifer's Call if, or three, depending on the region. Good to know three would have counted because I could was that was what I was I knew it was three, just couldn't remember the subtitle. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys some options there, okay. so uh, any any of the three would have counted. Yes. Uh, let's start odds and ends two hundred. Okay, the Sega Game Gear required this many AA batteries to deliver a whopping three-ish hours of playtime. Jeff. What is six? It is six AA batteries. Absolutely uh, guzzled those things. Yes, it did. It, it choked them down. Uh, guzzled them down. Uh, odds and ends for 400. This Wii puzzle game is known for being prominently advertised as a Steven Spielberg game. Damn it. Imran. What is Boom Blocks? Steven Spielberg's Boom Blocks. Boom Blocks, real good. They should bring it yes, back. It's a fun game. A solid like a game, actually. Yes. 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 Holds up still. Uh, name that tune for 600. All right, listen up. Ah. Blessing. What is Fall Guys? Incorrect. Damn it. Imran. What is Final Fantasy VII Remake? Yes, it is the battle theme version of Beck's Badass's song. 
Very catchy. Or two? Uh, uh, guest characters for a thousand. This spinoff of a popular simulation series features cameos of and tracks produced by the Black Eyed Peas. Blessing. What is Just Dance? <laughs> Incorrect. Dang it. <laughs> and that one is... Wait. Oh, uh, Jeff? Jeff? Um, what is... Um, ah, fuck. Uh, what, what, is, what are the Sims? Uh, no. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I, I, there was like a. And that thing. one is locked. It's the spinoff of The Sims, The Herbs. Herbs. Yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, the well, there was something. I'm like, it was in my brain. I just couldn't fully bring myself. Let me tell to you, it. when I thought you were 100% talking about the Black Eyed Peas experience here, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got this in the bag. <laughs> that would have been a good poll. <laughs> uh, Imran, where to? Uh, voice acting for 600. That is a daily double. Oh, no. All right, this could be dangerous. Imran, you're very much in the lead right now. Uh, how much would you like to wager on this? Uh, let's wager 700. All right, 700 on the line. The first Yakuza game received an English dub for its Western release, featuring this famous actor voicing favorite character, Goro Majima. Who is Mark Hamill? It is Mark Hamill. Very, very nice. We got, we got to stop Imran from knowing so much about video games. <laughs> I think math, mathematically, I don't think I can win. <laughs> uh, uh, too. Name that tune for 800. All right, listen closely. Bless you, have to get this. I know. Might be too nervous, but... It looks like Imran did be God bossing damn it. <laughs> Actually, I might get it wrong because I'm not sure which one it is. I'm going to say, what is Sonic Adventure? Incorrect. Okay. Blessing. What is Sonic Heroes? Mm, my wow. man. Sonic Heroes. If I had played that out in my head, I would have guessed it right. Yeah, if you would have like taken it to the hook, you would have gotten it. Yeah, yeah if you would have gotten to the part where they're like, Sonic Heroes. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that might have given away. Like, how long might go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blessing, where to? Uh, let's do name that tune for a thousand. I got nothing. That second swelling was so familiar, but I got guesses, but I nothing concrete. And that one is gone. That is Ryu's theme from the upcoming I... Street Fighter oh. Six. Okay. I was no gonna say, like, I, I was like, this game. sounds like Street Fighter, but yeah, I've not played that game with Very audio jazzy once. Version. <laughs> so. Oh, that is the problem. Uh, blessing, where to? Let's do uh, odds and ends for six hundred. Dana Plato was famous for being one of the stars of TV show Different Strokes, but gamers may be more familiar with her starring role in this video game. Jeff? What is Night Trap? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course there's a Night Trap question I just sneak it in somewhere! <laughs> yeah! Alright, very nice, Jeff. Uh, let's do uh, odds and ends for 800. Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut is an updated version of the N64's Clay Fighter 63 and a third, released exclusively through this retailer. Mm. Jeff. What is Blockbuster? It is Blockbuster. Very nice. Uh, odds and ends for a thousand. The origin of Mortal Kombat character Ermac's name is an abbreviation of this programming term. Blessing. Uh, what is macro error or error macro i guess <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you you corrected yeah. yourself in time yeah and more importantly i want to see you out of the hole so there you go <laughs> <laughs> thank you i appreciate it uh for two plus. let's go voice acting for 800 for over 25 years ikue otani has been the voice of this iconic character except for the frequent occasions where its voice is synthesized instead And 
and that one is gone. Now, admittedly, it's more in the anime than the games, but it is Pikachu. Oh, oh. right. I was literally just reading about because she's also Morgana in, or in Persona 5. Yes, in the Japanese version. That's mm. correct. Uh, bless her, too. Uh, let's do voice acting for a thousand. Lonnie Manella has a long history in video game voice acting, portraying characters such as Rouge the Bat and this furry feline. Jeff. Who is Bubsy? <laughs> Bubsy, 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 Bubsy. <laughs> I'm glad. Like like, I didn't know that, but I, even if I did know that, I would have let Grub get it. <laughs> so that we can I further... I don't want it to be my thing. We yeah. gotta it's stop your this. thing, dude. It's thing now. Oh, I heard I Bubsy's Jeff's thing. You can't stop it. Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I heard Jeff really likes Bubsy. Did you know that he has a Bubsy shirt? Like, he cosplays. It's incredible. Oh, snap. Uh, in 2011, Nintendo released the anniversary edition of this game exclusively as a DSiWare download. The messed up thing is I know and this. <laughs> that one is gone. It was Four Swords. Oh, yeah. right. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It has uh, local E3 wireless play and everything. Yeah. Yep. And the last clue is a daily double, which will be going to Jeff. Uh, what's the category? Legends of Dual Screen? Legends of Dual Screens. Um, let's just, uh, can you do the math for me? However much it takes to tie Imran exactly. Actually, no, wait, let's, let, uh, no, let's do uh, 3,500. What would that be? That'd be 1,700 and it's 5,300 you have on the board right now. Right. So, and then, but if I were to get that wrong, would I still be like with him, with him, uh, with him mathematically, I think just barely. Uh, you'd have 3,600. So it would depend on how much Imran waiters at this point. I don't know why I'm helping well, you this much. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you can help me do math. Um, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do, let's just do, let's just do 1,700. All right, he's going for the tie, everybody. 1,700 on the line. This 2007 point and click adventure game is often credited with introducing players to the idea of holding the DS book style outside of the Brain Age series. What is Hotel Dusk? It is Hotel mm, Dusk. Wow. Jeff ties in wow. round Oof. at the end Oof. of the Double Jeopardy round. Oof. This is very interesting, everybody. So now, at the end well, of the Double Jeopardy like round. Don't have a chance because we, we kind of have to go all out. So we could both end at zero. Like, yes, as important to know. This was my plan all along <laughs> 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 to get you guys tied. So you'd have to risk it all. Honestly, it would be the best ending. <laughs> <laughs> So we have Jeff and Imran tied in first place with 7,000. Blessing is in second slash third place, however you want to look at it, with 300 points. (laughs) Second place! Very nice. (laughs) Uh, As Jeff pointed out, mathematically, anything could happen here. Yes, even Blessing with the 300 could theoretically win if both these guys risk everything and shoot themselves in the foot. So I am very excited to see how things go as you all DM me your wagers. On this final Jeopardy category, developer pseudonyms. All right, the wagers are all in, and the final Jeopardy clue under the category of developer pseudonyms. In the early days of video games, developers were often forced to use pseudonyms in the credits of their games as an anti poaching method. One such developer was this legendary composer who went by the name Konchan. Contestants, you will have 30 seconds to DM me your response. Good luck. I see Jeff finish early, so now I'm just like, did he bet more than me? And, I mean, I was right. I still, I had still had to rack my brain, and it, but it took me a second just to remember the name of what I wanted to remember. So we'll see. Okay, the guesses are all in for the final Jeopardy round. This is going to be very interesting to see how this pans out. Blessing was in third place with 300 points on the board. Bless, you guessed Nobuo Uematsu. Which is incorrect. Yeah, Your wager was 300 points. <laughs> you will be going down to zero. Mm. Uh, 
let's go with Jeff. Let's just go in order of the board. Jeff, you wager, or you guessed, your guess, your guess was Koji Kondo. Which is oh, correct. Okay. True. True. Yeah, there right. you can see here is the sound composer on Zelda 1. Jeff, your wager was 7,000. So you will be doubling up to 14,000. A very, uh, very big number there. I can't Imran, you can afford all also, that. I can't wait for you to pay me. Huh? Um, make it out to cash. <laughs> 14. Uh, just reason, reason I say points. Uh, Imran <laughs> had 7,000 on the board. His guess was Koji Kondo. His wager, 6,500. <laughs> oh, sweet wow. winning. Imran oh, goes up to, to 13,500, <laughs> which means Jeff Grubb is, for the first time in about six months, your like, game like, mess Jeopardy champion. Good job, Jeff. Well, good that's good that's job. That's it's been a while. I don't think that's right either. <laughs> I will he know. He just runs the show. The the uh, way I the way I was like <laughs> the at first I was like this is probably Koji Kondo and I was like ah uh, but like he was in Nintendo I wonder if Nobuo Uematsu was more of a free agent so let me do Nobuo Uematsu and then like after I sent it I immediately reread Kanchan I was like fuck <laughs> <laughs> it's right in front of me I was thinking there was a chance that we were like that I was wrong and that Jeff would have bet seven thousand yeah. No, yeah, like, which is completely like, fair. That's a complete. I, I'm like, right, you yeah. know, I already wagered the seven thousand. I this the only this is the only possible answer is going to come to my brain. It took me a second to even remember Koji Kondo's name, uh, but I'm like, yeah, there's still a chance that we're both wrong, mm. and that's exactly how it would have gone down. But I was I'm just like, too conservative. Too. We'll see. Yeah, oh, so uh, all, right. all right, yeah, that's the final score. A right. very exciting end to a very exciting game. Thank you, everyone who's watching, for joining us. But before you go, I just want to remind you of a couple of things. First of all, if you like this video, to please put a like on it because it helps other people find the show later. And if you really liked it, hey, you can watch next month's episode right freaking now. That's right, because every month we record this show live for all of our wonderful patrons and YouTube members. All the wonderful people who uh, contributed questions to this show, too. If you saw someone's name written below a question, they or one of the cool kids who helps this show run. Thanks, If you want to be like them, you can go to patreon.com slash game mess or become a member on YouTube. Either way, you get into the secret channels of Discord where we keep all of our Patreon-exclusive stuff. We're going to round things out here with some plugs. I have been your humble host for the evening, Sean Turbo, Sean McDowell. If you want to find me on the internet, you can do so on Twitter at TurboSean underscore. And now on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash TurboSean. As of tonight... I have uh, started streaming, had a good first stream tonight. And if you want to catch more from me, you can do so there. You want to drop a follow and get notified when I go live, that would be appreciated. I'm streaming Pokemon TCG. I uh, do a turn compete in a tournament every single week. That's always a fun time. You can expect to see Rumbleverse, Pokemon Competitive Gen 9, and eventually Street Fighter 6. That beta is coming up here. So hopefully I get in because I didn't get in the first time. <laughs> Imran Khan, thank you for joining us this evening. Again, Seriously, thanks thank for coming you, back to the show. It yeah, was so awesome thank you. to have you here it's, tonight. It's very fun. Next time I'll just have to win. Like, I, I gave this losing thing a try. <laughs> Feels fine. Everything once, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you tell the wonderful people out there where they can find you on the air and plug anything you'd like for them to check out. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as long as Twitter lasts on Imran Z-O-M-G. Uh, <laughs> you can find my Patreon at pros, P-R-O-S-E and cons, K-H-A-N-S, which is pros, cons dot com. Uh, and clever, y'all. Yeah, that's that's mostly <laughs> the two places you can find me on the Internet. Very nice. Thanks again. And then blessing the other guest that we had for the evening. It was also awesome having you on tonight. It was a fun time. Even if you don't win, it's a fun time, right? Yeah. yeah and it was it was awesome to come here and be able to like go easy on these two, you know? Let them have a <laughs> the you had to hold back, you know? It was yeah. like you got to yeah. take the training weights off next time is what we'll, what mm -hmm. we'll see from you. Yeah, there. exactly. If I'm buzzing in first and getting all these questions correct, it's not fun for anybody. And so I, I wanted to do <laughs> my due course. diligence here. Um, but yeah, thanks again for having me. You can f uh, follow me on Twitter at Blessing Jr. Uh, and of course, you can find me on kind of funny youtube.com slash kind of funny games where I'm on shows like kind of funny games daily and PS love you. Uh, and yeah, so check me out there. Awesome. Thanks again to you, too. And Jeff, why don't you take us home for the evening? Yeah, three things. Uh, blessing, Imran. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. You guys would come on and help me with the show. Um, second, I the answer was Link's Awakening. I was wearing a shirt and I didn't do this. So I'm pretty upset with myself. I could have <laughs> answered that way. That's pretty stupid of me. And we know Mike's going to come back next month and be like, I wasn't there. It doesn't count. Let's not let's not forget. 
that the one month he stole the double jeopardy from me and it was a cheater and cheated. I think that's way more important than anything else. You so need to hold that over his head. We need head. to yes, keep holding that one because that's the truth. He just cheated. So thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you, everybody who like supports this. It's great. Uh, let's get out of here. Until next time. Goodbye. Hey, everyone.